Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Penn. I usually do tutorials, but today we're going to dive into some interesting facts about releasing my first game on Steam called Bullet Bunny. A little bit of a roller coaster, and I have some planned, but I'm kind of just going to go with the flow and break it down and let you guys know the juicy details like how much I made, how many wish lists I went in with, you know, and so on. So, first, we'll, we'll cover the wish lists, how many I launched. How many I got post launch, etc., and then we'll dive a bit more into the launch because it was it was quite interesting how it laid out. Ultimately, um, how it unfolded was wasn't that great, but I'll explain that more in detail soon. And then we'll go into the first week sales, which are okay, and then the first month month sales, and we'll kind of break that all down. And then the the conclusion on how I I felt and how I'm going to proceed. So let's get straight into it. Going into uh, the launch, I had just over 8,000 wish lists, and that's that's quite a bit. It's decent for an indie game, my first game. I was pretty proud of it, and how I got that was basically through my social media, you know, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, just constantly posting, sometimes Reddit and TikTok and so on. So I had that going into launch, and... I was hoping I'd get onto popular up upcoming, and I did, and that gained me another 3,000 just over. I was lucky and got there on there for four days, and then I launched with 11,000 and 380, and I gained another two and a half post launch. And I'll I'll go into this a bit more, but this is just the stats for the, the initial like wish list. And here's some here's the Steam ones. You can see. 15,314 edition. This is this is currently right now. I just just did this and you can see the conversion rate is pretty low. I think it was lower. The I think I have it somewhere. The the stats, I think it was lower. It was 3, it was pushing it was 2 or 3, which is you know 5.9 is 889. So I'm hoping to convert some of these wish lists down the road. Fingers crossed because ultimately that's that's a pretty low conversion rate, especially on launch day when it was you know, two or three percent. That that wasn't too good. So that that's my wish list now and how much I had and everything. So let's go into launch day. Oh, here's a little chart of I released. Um, I think it was April. Makes sense. March, April. I I made the Steam page last year. So it's been a year now. And I wasn't advertising or posting too much about it. The odd one. And this was Steam Next Fest which ultimately I did completely wrong because I didn't know what I was doing. I entered it. Um, I knew that you could only enter one, but I was like, whatever, I'll, I'll enter it. And it did like, okay, but I think if I did a Steam Next Fest somewhere around here, it would have done way better, like way better. And then I didn't post a lot. I didn't wasn't doing a lot for the game, just slowly working on it. And here is when I started to post about it. And this was a viral post. I posted of the San samurai um, dude. There's a tutorial on him on this YouTube page, but he's an enemy in the game. And I posted on Instagram and I think it got 10 million views. 600,000 likes and you can see here the first day it got almost 400 and then that kind of which isn't that it didn't get 600,000 likes in the first day it kind of built up I think it had like you know 20,000 first day and then it kind of just went and went and went kept going and for the amount of likes and views it got it didn't do like that doesn't convert into a lot of wish lists. that's kind of just Instagram it's a uh, probably lower quality wish lists and views but that kind of motivated me to post about bullet bunny frequently so this is kind of from from here october to release i kind of consistently posted about it and you can see like like this is probably the 100 mark i was consistently getting you know 50 it was pretty consistent until release at this point which kind of gave me confidence going into the release and then this here is the release which uh was getting me around a thousand a day and then and the re release itself was over 1200 and we'll go more into that right now because this was I mentioned getting onto popular upcoming which is what you want to do when releasing a game and I had 8,000 so I was like I think I'm gonna get on it because I was tracking games before constantly and I was pretty confident I'd get on it and how it laid out I was on there for four days which is extremely lucky and I was getting close to a thousand wish lists a day being on here which was really cool and I think it was better than most of the games 
one popular upcoming with me is if you went to Steam DB. I was rising in the ranks a lot more than than the other games. So that kind of was getting me real amped. You know, I'm more and more confident at this point, which was exciting. I was way too exciting, excited. And eventually, you know, I was I was up here. This goes by release date. So you just move up as these games get removed. So I was, I think I was two or one for three or four days. It was pretty crazy. And that leads me to the launch. And to get on this new and trending tab, you need 10 reviews or something fairly quickly. You need decent sales. And I did that. And you can see I was number one. And this lasted for four or five hours or something before it just stopped, which I was a tad confused. You can see competing with Sex Campus. Um, but yes, I made it on new and trending. I was sending this to my friends, to my family and everyone. And I was like, this is nuts. I'm doing it like this is nuts. Sales were going crazy at this point, you know? Um, this was bulk of this four or five hours was the bulk of my sales. And then out of nowhere, it just stopped. I was off the list and I was really confused. I thought I did something wrong or something like I shouldn't have done and I was removed and that stopped. And with it, um, sales kind of stopped pretty much. Um, so that was super depressing and I still don't really know why. I guess reviews, the reviews are okay. I don't know. So I don't really have an answer, but that brings us to the next part where I'll break in, break down the revenue, which is the, we'll start off with the first week revenue. And this was, I did a Reddit post so of the first week. The rest of the month isn't this nicely laid out, but there's not much to look at. So the first week total, I sold 1,098 copies. And again, that first day when I was on popular or new and trending, it sold 660. And that was, as you can see, bulk of my sales to this point. And 1,098 is 4,930 USD before refunds, cuts, you know, the 30% and everything. And then you can see 600, 500 or 155. This was like, it kind of stopped after I dropped off new and trending, it dropped real hard. And then the second day I kind of pushed social media a bit and then which did okay and then it kind of just trickled down to 40 which 40 is still cool and overall if this week laid out like this but not the way it happened i would have been pretty amped and happy with it but kind of the way it happened kind of felt lackluster it was kind of a crappy feeling to say to just be thrown off new and trending when other games i released with were on there for three or four days i know there's tons of variables with that but it kind of felt like i failed even though these numbers are are okay if if i if i if it happened in a different way i guess i would probably be much more happier with it and you can see day eight was 34 and then day nine was two i forget what it what it ended with day nine i had 134 refunds which is 11.8 percent i think right now it's at 12.2 i thought this was high but the average is 10 to 12 so that's pretty good. The medium playtime is 50 minutes, or was this first week. It's at 54 now, which is average. The wishlist conversion conversion rate is 4.9 at the end of the week one, but the first few days was 3%, which is really low. Typically, you could see 15, 20% even, 10%, 10 to 15 is probably more normal. So that would have been a lot more sales. And I mentioned in this Reddit post, this may be from poor quality wishlist from my followings, 153 on Instagram. 26 on, on Twitter, 18 on YouTube, that love to support me by wishlisting, but had no intent to actually buy the game, but it helped. But that's kind of the nature of, of Instagram, especially. And I had 55 reviews, 92% positive, and the negative ones were, were basically clunky UI in the hub. Um, progression was kind of lackluster, and those are two things I've revamped for this coming update. So I'm excited to release that. And this is, so that was week one, 1098. And then this is this date, this is April 3rd and I released March 4th. So almost a month, lifetime revenue, 63 gross, um, 5,000 less returns, chargebacks, taxes, lifetime units, 1,413. So basically 300 the rest of the month. So that first week was 1,100 almost. And then 300 returns 12.2 percent which i mentioned up there which is 
it was pretty average one 173 two players currently playing shout out to them daily active uses 25 which is it's cool to think 25 people are playing my game and medium play time 54 wish lists right now are 12 um thousand so almost 13,000. so if i can convert on some of those in becoming sales and and whatnot um hopefully i can bump these numbers this is quick on sales by region states uk canada germany and then some some lower ones down here pretty cool and this is quick graph of the average peak users and and everything that was released at 350 ish people and playing daily and now it's like like i said down to 25 ish which is still cool really cool so my conclusion that brings to the conclusion this is what i wrote in the the reddit post kind of just breaks down that like i mentioned the way it happened was kind of not too exciting <laughs> or was exciting i guess a lot of excitement but not too too happy with how it unfolded overall underperformed based on wish list going into launch day i think all those sites that predicts what how many copies you would sell i think sites had me from in the first month from you know, 3,000 to 7,000. And I was sitting there low balling, you know, being like, okay, I'm expecting 3,000 the first month. I didn't even get half of that. And the, every site was kind of in the same ballpark. And, you know, you you always think about, oh, like imagine 7,000 sales in the first month. So based on all that, it underperformed and it was quite difficult to accept. But the community that I've developed on my Discord and everything, and watching people battle for leaderboards has been fun. It's a joy, and it's motivating me to improve the game. Um, I should mention the the reviews at one week were 55, and right now it's at 60. So five reviews in the remaining days of the month, which isn't that much. But overall, it was it was really difficult to handle how it unfolded, and I expected more, and I was lowballing it, and I didn't even get to the low ball number. I still have a lot of wish lists I can convert on, which I will try. I'm going to continue to add heroes and update the game. I have a big update coming, and with that will come a sale again. So I'm going to do the 20% or over 20%, which will notify everyone that has wishlist the game, and hopefully they can grab it and play it, hopefully get some big excitement from it. So those are the numbers from my first, or launching my first game, and the roller coaster that came with it. You're watching this far thank you so much next video will probably be a tutorial again and i'm excited to chat with you guys in the comments see ya